Hello, this is Justin Grover with Adobe Product Management. I'm here to show you some of the features of the analysis workspace that make it easier to add uh, metrics and segments to your reports. And the first one that I want to show you is how to add uh, metric, a metric for multiple segments. So I, I, I have here a list of my pages by unique visitors. And what I want to do is I actually want to filter those by US visitors and international visitors. And so I'm going to grab both of these segments using a, a shift select or command select and then drag them on top of the metric that I have. And by doing this, um, you can see that it gives me unique visitors for each segment that I have selected, which is a quick way to add multiple segments to the report. Um, I can do this, I can actually do this in the, in the opposite way where I add a single segment to multiple metrics. So in this case, I'm going to select the two metrics that I'm interested in, uh, visits and unique visitors. And then I'm going to drag one of my segments on. So that, this way I can look at US visitors, um, how many unique visitors I have, and how many visits those visitors make up. And so you can see that then now this, this segment is applied to both of the, uh, of the metrics that I have, which be, can be kind of helpful. I can actually do it um, the same way with multiple metrics and multiple segments. And so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this to uh, multiple, uh, I'm going to apply multiple segments to the multiple metrics. So I select the two metrics, select the two segments that I want, and I actually get now four columns in my report, um, which can be very helpful. This can also be done by applying these, um, by applying individual items. So if I wanted to look at, you know, United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom, I could come in here and add these in, and you'll see that it, uh, it adds it over the two that I have selected. Um, so you can actually create very complicated reports very quickly. We hope you find this, this tutorial helpful. Please be sure to check out our other videos on YouTube.